Right, Coach McHenry, what do you feel are your team's strengths heading into the upcoming season? You know, it's always been, I think, our depth. Uh, I think we have a number of kids who can play. Um, you know, hopefully our you know, senior class understands the system. We have a number of seniors. Uh, some have been here one year, two years, and then some four years. And I think that's a big plus uh, when you're trying to develop a team to win a conference championship is you got to have some people that have been there before and have, have played in it now. I also think with those seniors, there's a lot of them are going to have to change their role from what they've played in the last three, one, or two years. So but I think you know our senior class uh, is strong because it's a big class, and they've been there before, and, and I think our depth should be a plus for us when we're trying to you know, go through the league. What are your concerns replacing three all-conference players, yeah. including an All-American? Yeah, I mean, anytime you lose that class, and then Megan was in there as well, Megan Lasley, who was just a really glue player, who probably was a better player than people thought. We just had a lot of good players sitting with her. Uh, but you lose, you know, arguably one of the best players in the country in Ebony Williams and then Cassie and Stevie were just players that had been in the system and really worked hard and really bought into what we were doing. Uh, one was a tall you know, inside player, which is hard to replace, and then one was a terrific shooter and, and just kind of a leader. And uh, all three of them, though, were all-conference players. One was All-American. You just you don't replace that. You really don't. Um, that was a special group. And, you know, after a special group, you try to get a group in there that just uh, kind of makes their own name. But uh, obviously, losing your three top scores, um, trying to put a team together to replace that, you're probably not going to do that. Now, can you be better defensively? Can you be better in different areas? Sure, you could be, and that's what we may have to do. I don't think we'll score as easy as we did last year. Um, I don't think we'll shoot the ball as well from the Premier as we did last year. Uh, so those are concerns. But uh, also the other kids that are now here and the new kids bring something different. So uh, every year is a challenge, but that challenge is definitely there to replace three of your top scores and some great players. What's your overall expectations and goals for 2011, 2012, never, never really sit down and try to make a goal. We've never had a goal party and try to figure out what we all want. I think anybody that comes here wants to win a conference championship. Uh, that's why they probably chose to come here and then – if that takes you farther on, and that's what you want to do, so I, I would suppose, you know, if we have a common goal, which you have every year, is win a conference championship, and then go where that takes us. Um, I think this team, you know, just has a goal to kind of, you know, I would assume just by feeling them and talking to, briefly to them is, is you know, they, they know a lot. We've lost a lot of players, and uh, but they also know that they're a really strong senior class uh, that should be able to stay together and and uh, accomplish some goals in, a, in more of a, a, a total package of the 10, 12, 15, whatever we play. Uh, and I think that's a goal of theirs is to make sure we continue on uh, the tradition we've had here as far as winning and, and continuing for conference championships. Uh, Laura Kinderneck, Dana Elliott, Sarah Muller, Sarah Muller, probably three of your key returners. Talk about the roles they played last year and what they're going to do this year. Well, there's no doubt that Laura Kinderneck has to play well for us. and you know. I, and, 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 and sometimes her playing well is different than what I think is playing well. She'll, she, she likes to just play the game and not really force the game. Um, she's been trained that way, and that's fine. But I think this year she's going to be forced into being a, more of a scorer, uh, more of a leader, uh, more of that player we have to have play for us if we want to be effective. And um, that's a role we've been trying to get her to go into. But, you know, she's been um, – you know, not wanting to do that as much. But this year I think she's going to see it, that she's going to have to do that, and we're going to force feed her to do that. Um, you know, Dana Elliott is probably one of the most solid basketball players I've been, we've had in our program. Um, she's not an unbelievable scorer. Um, she can score. Uh, she's not an unbelievable defender, but she can defend. What she can do is play the game. She understands play the game well, and she understands the team concept very well. So I think uh, Dana is a player that um, might um, – you know, it might surprise some people, but not the people that know anything about basketball. I know last year I talked to two coaches, one of them in this building and another one outside the building, that know basketball. They, they would tell you almost your better player was Dana Elliott because the thing she does for you, she'll take charges, she'll rebound. Uh, she just does a number of things. She can pass it well. She's fundamentally sound. So she'll be asked to do a little bit more this year uh, and to bring a little more scoring punch. But, uh, you know, an unbelievable team player that – believes in the system and has done a great job and she'll step her game up because she knows she has to. Uh, you talked about Sierra Moeller, you know, we won't get her until second semester. Uh, Sierra last year, I, I mean, I probably had her out of position. She's more of an inside type player because of her workhorse and her physicalness play. And, and we've always had her on a perimeter. We had some other big kids. So I think this year with her becoming closer to the basket, she'll be more effective. 
Um, you know, hope we can keep her healthy. I know last year you kind of forget about that run when we won the conference championship and won the tournament championship, but she was injured in, the, in Kansas City, and we lost her. And I think that affected us down the stretch uh, to try to go on and win and get the lead eight. But, you know, her back and healthy, you know, obviously missing first semester is a little bit of a challenge for her. Uh, but she's been through this. She's not a, uh, a young kid. She's a veteran of the game and understands how to get herself ready to play. Uh, but I think she'll have a much better year for us, especially in the scoring area, because we're going to put her in a position where she can be more effective. Last year, we put her on the floor because we thought she was one of our top five players, but maybe in a position she wasn't as effective at. So this year, we'll put her back in a more of a position where she's effective. I think, you know, uh, Tierra George is a player, very talented player that um, I think that she'll shoot more out of her. Um, She's a little more determined. Last year, she remember she came in a semester, which is a hard jump to come in, especially for a transfer kid who hadn't played a lot in our system or any other system. So I think Tierra George has a chance to be a nice player in this league. She's got the good size. She's got some great skills. She's just got to get the discipline and the hard work down every day and being more consistent. But she's a very talented player. And you open up and, uh, with two exhibitions, Division One schools, Kansas, Kansas State. What do those games do for your teams in the past, and what do you expect this year? Well, they made uh, smashes. I mean, honestly, Kansas uh, played on October 28th. It was just, you know, I, I don't know who scheduled it. I guess they did uh, because that's how it works. But, you know, it's it's always a great challenge. And I think this year with this team and the position we're in right now, minus, you know, Sierra first semester, we're going to be in for a heck of a challenge in both games. Um, and just challenge to kind of stand on our feet and play. In the past, I've always thought we could go down maybe a little bit and play uh, and stay in games. And, uh, you know, this year, uh, you know, with the newest and the, the, just the total change of roles, it could be interesting. But I also think it's a challenge for your player. that They enjoy that challenge. And so if I know my players, they'll go down and compete hard. And I think that's what you're trying to get out of anything. You know, you're not going to be perfect. And this group early is going to be a little hard to be perfect. Um, they're going to struggle in some areas, I feel. And that's fine as long as they're competing hard and playing hard. And so when you go into a game like that, you better compete hard, you better play hard, you know, try to do the things we talk about, knowing you're not going to be able to do them every time against the team. I think Kansas has got top two top 25 players in the country sitting down there in Davis and uh, Goodrich. So, you know, very talented players in their positions and then some other players. So we'll be challenged hard. But, I mean, I, I really want to see us compete. I want to see us stay together in some tough situations. Both games guarantee you we'll have some tough situations where the game's maybe not going well for us. But we have to learn how to compete out of it. And I think that's the importance of being a good basketball team if you have players that compete when things don't go well.